Hi everyone, it's Stephanie here, and today I have a card to share as part of the Deck the Halls with Inky Paws blog hop for Newton's Nook. I'm excited to be taking part this year and sharing this fun little holiday card that I've created um, using some masking. So to start off my card, I'm going to be using the Christmas Cuddle stamp set. I love the little cat images that kind of are intertwined, their little tails, and they look like they're kind of looking off into the distance. And I thought they would be really cute in a snowy type scene looking out into a night sky. So that's what I'm going to create today. So to start off, I have a four and a quarter by five and a half inch white Nina solar white cardstock panel and I've also cut a piece of eclipse masking paper to the same size and die cut a circle out of the center area and I'm going to be using this for a mask to create a circle night scene around these these uh, cat images so to start off I stamp the cats into onto the card base where I'm going to want them you want to stamp anything that you want to kind of be in the forefront first and then kind of add all your masking over top. So I added a little arched piece at the bottom of the cats to create the ground area once I get the sky done. And then I added the circle mask on top and then I finally added a mask over both of the kitties that I had cut out from Eclipse Masking Paper as well. And now I'm going to use some Distress Inks to go ahead and create my night sky. So I like to start off with a lighter blue color. For this one here, I'm using Broken China. And I just go ahead and start off the side. I, you don't want to start directly onto the open area of the card where you want the ink to be. You kind of want to pull the color in off of the masking paper. And this will just help keep everything a little bit more smooth and help everything blend together better. So I'm just going to speed this up because I did ink for quite a quite a while um, to create this little night sky. So I started with, like I said, the broken china and completely covered that whole area. And now I'm going to add in some darker colors. And I don't really know if you even see the broken china after everything's completely finished, but I feel like it provides a nice base to kind of start off on and build the color up. So I also added chevron or chip sapphire, and I also added some dusty concord. This just really adds the kind of the nighttime look to it by adding some of that purple. And then to darken up the edges, I added some black soot. And this looks like a hot mess right now because I was kind of inking off on the masking paper. So if you were to look at it right now, it doesn't look very good at all. But that's one of the great things about masking. I love when you get to peel the masks off and see what you've created because it always looks so good. And uh, sometimes you kind of worry that it's looking a little rough, but once you pull that masking off, it looks so good. So hang hang tight with me here. It's going to get better, I promise. So I just went ahead now. I got some white paint and put it onto my craft sheet and added some water. And now I'm just using the paintbrush to kind of flick this white um, paint onto the night sky. So I just like to grab and apparently drop the paintbrush, but I just like to grab the color onto the brush of the paintbrush and then just use my fingers to like kind of flick the end of the paintbrush and that just lets it drop all these little drops of white paint. And sometimes the drops are a little bit bigger than I necessarily want. There was a few pretty big ones that landed on the cat's head. That worked out because that's not going to be there anyway when we're finished. But I did end up with a few areas that were a little bit bigger than I wanted. Um, but I feel like with this technique, it's not perfect. It's supposed to kind of look random and you're supposed to have lots of different sizes and shapes. So I just went with it and moved on with the card. So I'm going to work now on the area where the cats are sitting. So I just pulled the bottom area of the mask gently up. And when I do that, it pulls their tail mask up as well and allows me to pull out that little piece that I had added for the ground area. So I'm just very carefully pulling that out and then I'm just at pushing the mask back down onto the card front so that I can work on the ground. And for this, I'm using Hickory Smoke Ink. This is a new gray distress ink. And I'm just going to pull the color from the bottom area up into that opening to kind of fill that whole white space there with gray ink. This ink was a little bit wetter than I realized, so when I end up taking off the mask, I'm probably sure no one barely even notices, but I noticed that I didn't get the nice crisp, crisp circle um, inked area at the bottom. There is a little bit of bleeding underneath um, this little spot on the right hand side, but it's fine. It's still, it's barely noticeable. I just happened to notice everything, so I noticed it when I took the mask off. So once I have the ground done, I can go ahead and remove everything because we are done with all of the inking. So I'm going to start with the cats first and just very carefully pull this off. I like to use um, an X-Acto knife to kind of get the mask going. 
and you can see as I pull it off the white image there of the cats and then this is where the real magic happens when you pull off the outside mask and see that perfect little circled sky that has been created and I just love the reveal when you do masking I just think it looks so awesome that night sky it looks so realistic with, with the cats kind of looking out at the snowy scene and I can go ahead and work on finishing the card. So there's a very small area in between the two cats that's supposed to be ground as well. So I'm just using a fantastic stick. This is just like a little foamy type um, tip on it and it just lets you do some inking if you need to in small areas. So I just picked up the Distress ink right onto this little tool and added it to that open area. And then now that I have that done, I'm going to go ahead and color in the cats. This coloring took me a little bit longer. Um, I colored the cats with a kind of a different pattern than I normally do. And um, it ended up taking me a little bit of time to color. So I didn't want to cut out any of the coloring. So I'm going to go ahead and add some music to this part here while I'm coloring. And then I'll see you when I have the coloring done and we finish off the card. Once I had all of the Copic coloring done, I went ahead and added some glitter to the cat's hat and both of their scarves with a clear wink of Stella glitter marker. I just felt like it was a pretty flat card. There wasn't a lot going on, so a little bit of sparkle never hurts anybody, and I just thought it would add to the card design to put um, sparkle on those pieces. And then I'm also going to add some clear sequins to the sky area. 
I kept them contained inside the circle. I didn't want anything outside of the circle. I wanted the focal point to really be in that circle area that we've done all the masking. So I kept them on the inside area. And then I also added some silver stickles both to the center of the sequins and on some random spots around the sky area for some added sparkle. And then I stamped the sentiment at the bottom. It was a little bit more than I wanted, so I cut off the top line and just added the Meowie Christmas. And then that's going to complete the card for today. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you have fun during the Deck the Halls with Inky Paws Newton's Nook event. And I will see you next time in my next video. Thanks for watching.